Polypede works here. And we got some new Vivicard information that has come out, translated by both Pew Peace and author of the Library of O'Hara. So big shout out to them. However, I made a video previously talking about Queen being the father of Frankie. This is a sort of follow-up video to that because we're going to get in more detail about that momentarily. However, the first thing I want to tackle is that this is the second time that Yamato has gotten a river card. And just like the first time, it is confirmed that she is a female and her title is the self-proclaimed Kazuki Odin. This means that the title is just her cosplaying. There's no indicator that she's of any sort of different gender persuasion, like, say, Okiku or Morley. And I believe with Okiku, it's even said within the manga. So I don't know why for so many years at this point, people feel the need to say that Yamato has this as well, when now on at least two fronts at this point, it is confirmed that Yamato is just a straight up female. And there's nothing really to be confused about or to put up any sort of concern about because this is how things actually are. There's no need to pussyfoot around the matter. She is a woman. She is a female. There's no other if, ands, or buts about it. Other important information about her is that she was born November 3rd. We know her dough fruit. It's the dog dog fruit model Ukami no Makami, which is just the big white wolf. Her hobbies are fantasizing and discipline training. So she likes to train and she likes to think about, I guess, maybe what being Odin or going out to sea or whatnot, which I mean fits her because she is kind of like a childish character in terms of her way of thinking. And from the whole training aspect, it reminds me of so many other tomboy characters in anime and manga. So that makes sense. And I know a lot of people will point to the bath scene as a means to say that she is something other than what's being presented in this vivid card here. However, you, you got to think about like, say, with Luffy. Luffy doesn't really get the whole sexual attraction thing. It's very unknown to him. He doesn't get it. And the only time he does get it when he's influenced by somebody else, like you see in Alabasta where he's with Luffy with uh, when Luffy is with Usopp and they both get hard eyed at Nami in the bath. He doesn't look at Nami like that normally. So he only looks at women a particular way when he's under the influence of somebody else. So with both of them, that's not really a thing. I'm sure the same thing would happen with Yamato if she was with another woman who saw a man in a particular way. But moving on, Yamato has all three types of hockey, which is armament, observation, and conquerors, which we knew that already. So Yamato is the third woman in the entirety of One Piece to have all three. Because so far, as far as I know, it's her, it's Big Mom, and it's Hancock. So yeah, she's got good company, and I... I still think she's going to be an important character in the future. I still think she's going to join the crew. I made many videos about that. I don't think that's just there to be there. I think she's going to be a big influence moving forward. But with that being said, on to the other characters. And I apologize if my tone was a bit harsh, but the truth is the truth. Yamato is a woman. But for real though, moving on. Okay, so I fibbed a little bit because I forgot some important Yamato stuff. So we don't know her origin, but we might know her mother based on a theory proposed by Pew Peace. So here is the entire timeline of Kaido's career. 59 years ago, he was born. 49 years ago, he became the Vaka Kingdom's best child soldier. 46 years ago, he escaped from the Marines. Between 46 and 44 years ago, he got a bounty of 70 million berries, which means his first body is way larger than Luffy's. That's crazy. 40 million larger than Luffy's. Crazy starting bounty. 44 years ago, he became a rock pirate. Then 38 years ago, the God Valley incident happened. So that's when rocks presumably was defeated. 
and the Rocks Pirates broke up. Following that, 34 years ago, he started the Beast Pirates and recruited King, otherwise known as Albert. 33 years ago, he asks the man who would be known as Queen later on to join him. We don't get an indicator of when Jack joins. But then 28 years ago, he arrives at Wano and conspires with Higarashi. 26 years ago, Queen finally decides to join Kaido. And then 20 years ago, Kaido kills Odin. Uh, we all know that Yamato is 28, okay? We also know in this Vivicar pack that at some point, Higarashi, Kurozumi Higarashi, did copy the Rocks Pirate Shiki. And we also know, which is brought up in this Vivicar pack, but it's interesting. We also know that Higarashi copied a blonde woman. I think that blonde woman, I've brought this up before, but I think that blonde woman was the original Stussy, Buckingham Stussy, because we don't know what color her eyes are. We know the clone of Stussy's eyes are blue, but her eyes, much like Higarashi's copy, could have green eyes. So we don't know, but I think Higarashi did copy Stussy too at one point. Higarashi is a native of the Wano country. She is a Kurozumi. And from what's being said here, and seeing as how her hair color is very, very similar to Yamato's, that could be of old age, but due to her being a user of the clone clone fruit, it may not be. Uh, it's highly speculated now, thanks to Pew Piece, that Kurozumi Higarashi is Yamato's mother. That means that Kaido was banging boots with this 85-year-old woman, but she could turn into a woman that looks like Stussy, so I don't know. Kaido likes him old and seasoned, I guess. That's, woo, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. It's also crazy because if this is true, Yamato is a Kurozumi, so Yamato is related to Tama. I find that hilarious. I did not see that coming. That's great. That's very cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> As well, bro. And she's also 193 centimeters tall, making her about six foot three, which I mean, it, that makes sense because Kyle's big. She's big. It kind of adds up because Yamato is humongous. She's eight foot eight. So I don't know, bro. It makes a lot of sense that she would be that big due to both her parents being quite big. So, hey, it is what it is. Yabato's a big girl. But moving on to Queen's information, which is the next big block of information that we get amongst these favorite cards, we have a full timeline of his life so far, and we have a name drop. His name is Cyan, which is spelled S-C-I-E-N. This, of course, is a pun on the English word science, which is S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. This is also very interesting to me because if you pronounce it cyan or cyan, it sounds like the color cyan, which is C-Y-A-N. This is funny because Frankie's color is cyan or light blue. And you see this in the pre-time skip in his hair. And this is expounded upon further in his base design in the post-time skip because his arms become cyan as well. Moving on from that, it's also quite interesting that I guess if this is to be true, which it's looking like it is, uh, Queen's full name would be Cutty Cyan because, of course, Frankie's real name is Cutty Flam. I don't know what Flam is. I guess that's supposed to be a pun, too. Don't know what the pun is. But anyway, we have a full breakdown of Queen's life now. 39 years ago, he worked in Mads. You know, with Sanji's father, uh, Caesar Clown, the original Buckingham Stussy, Vegapunk, all those guys. Then, 36 years ago, he had a child. Well, what age is Frankie right now? He's 36. Hey. Okay, 
33 years ago, he got an offer to join Kaido, but he didn't join quite yet. And now was said in the Kaido section. But then 29 years ago, he leaves Mads. And 26 years ago, he both left his son to join Kaido under the name of Queen. And this too is when Mads is bought by the world government. So I guess he chose the name Queen because by that point, Albert had already joined under the name King. So that's very funny. It's been beef since the start. Hilarious. That's very, that's very, very good. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, King joined Kaido 34 years ago. So he's a senior member over Queen. That's hilarious. I like that a lot. But continuing on, Queen has a array of hobbies and other information that we need to go over. So... He is an observation hockey user. He is an arm and hockey user. That much is true. And it's been suggested that at the end of Egghead, Frankie is at least an arm and hockey user, but we need more information about that. But he is 56. He is 20 feet tall. He's 20 foot one, actually. His favorite food is Oshiruko, but that comes up in Wano. His least favorite food is Bubazuki, and he doesn't like low calorie foods. <laughs> his hobbies are dancing and collecting pictures of Kurosaki, which that came up in the arc as well. His animal motif, the animal that he identifies with, is a plesiosaur, which looks like a brachiosaurus. It's just like the sea version, so that's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know if that's ever come up. That's odd. Uh, his origins are the Grand Line, and his bounty was presumably because I guess he's in Impel Down now was one billion three hundred twenty million. So. That's it about Queen. Very interesting stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I wonder what's next for him. And to finish things off, let's talk about King. King, we get no additional timeline information for, but he is 47. His favorite food is flying fish sashimi. So I guess that means he likes to eat the, uh, the flying fish that we saw that gang have, the flying fish riders, now known as the Rosie Life riders, I believe that were headed by Duval. So he likes to eat those type of fish. He likes collecting swords. His least favorite food is oatmeal. His animal motif is a Petrosaurus. So that is, I want to say that's just the one that he turns into, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, just like a flying, a Petrosaurus is a flying dinosaur. Okay, yeah. I had to look it up real quick. Yeah, that's, it's just what he turns into. His origin two is on the grand line. His bounty is 1,390,000,000. And he is a user of Armored Hockey and Observation Hockey. So, yeah, he does not have Conquerors. And, of course, we turn to the boss, which I think a lot of this has been said already, but I'll just say it again. He's 59 years old. His favorite food is alcohol and fish skin. So, like Yamato, he, he likes his fish. But he just particularly likes the skin. His animal motif is the dragon, which makes sense. His bounty was four billion six hundred and eleven million one hundred thousand, and he is a user of all three types of hockey, just like his daughter. He has observation, armament, and conquerors. Now, going with the Wano theming of things, we have Green Bull, also known as Aramaki. His birthday is February 29th. He is 41 years old. His origins are in the South Blue. His favorite food is aged booze. He doesn't like to eat, of course, because of the pain and probably because of his uh, Woods Woods fruit. He gets the natural ability of photosynthesis from that fruit. His justice is suicidal justice. His bounty is about three billion because he's an admiral. So that means he gets three crowns thanks to the whole cross guild ranking system. His fruit is the Woods Woods fruit, otherwise known as the Mori Mori no Mi. And he, too, is a user of observation hockey and armament hockey. So, yeah, as it stands, the only users of Conquerors and the Marines are Sengoku and Monkey D. Garp. So that's cool. Uh, continuing on with our Wano boys, the CP0 member, Cypherpo Asia Zero, his name is Guranika. And yes, his name sounds like Nika, which is interesting, but he is dead. He is actually dead. He was struck down by Kaido and he is now confirmed to be deader than dead, dead as a doorknob. 
So that's interesting. I'm I'm happy that a death has been confirmed. Good. Kaido did do something. <laughs> very funny. Very cool. But we find out some more information about him. His birthday is October 25th. His age is 42 at the time of his death. His origins are the West Blue. His favorite food is garlic. And he is a user of observation and arm and hockey. So that's pretty neat. We got that information for him. Continuing, we have some info on Mihawk and Crocodile. Let's do Crocodile first. So, of course, he's 46. His favorite food is crocodile meat and tomatoes because he's very Italian. Yeah, he doesn't like ketchup. That's funny. His favorite hobby is mushroom hunting. Is that a euphemism for something? Or does he just like mushrooms? This is never brought up in the manga at all but i guess he likes italian cuisine because mushrooms are used a lot in italian cuisine i don't know his animal motif is the crocodile which of course his origins are on the grand line his new bounty as of becoming a part of cross guild is 1 billion 965 million of course he is the user of the sand sand fruit otherwise known as the suna suna no me and we have a hockey confirmation he is both an observation hockey user and an armament hockey user. Big boy crocodile knows hockey, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Now, the interesting thing about this, and I wonder if we'll ever get clarification. Did he always have hockey or is this a recent development during his time in Impel Down? Don't know. Or maybe he just developed it over the two-year time skip. Who's to say? But moving on to his fellow Cross Guild member, Dracul Mihawk. He is 43. I forgot that they were there close in age. That's crazy. 46 and 43. Uh, his favorite food is red wine. His least favorite food is hot pot. His leisurely activities are farming. He likes to farm. Farming is his hobby. And he likes wine collecting. Very classy. Of course, his animal motif is the hawk. His origins are unspecified like Yabato's. Very interesting. And his bounty is one of the highest in the series at 3 billion 590 million. Wow. And now the kicker. What you all been waiting for. He is an observation and arm and hockey user. He does not have conquerors. Confirmed of this recording. It may change in the future or this may be information that is yet to be revealed. But as of this moment, he is not a Conqueror's Hockey user. Uh-oh. I don't know. Is this Fraud Hawk? It kind of is Fraud Hawk. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So this means, by extension, presumably, you do not need Conqueror's Hockey to get a Black Blade. I thought that was the case. Apparently not. That also could mean that turning things black may not be solely related to Conquerors. Though we find out from Joy Boy's Wind Knot that you can seal Conquerors into objects, just like Armament. So, hey, I don't know. Maybe both of them can turn objects black. Who's to say? Because we are saying now that you can infuse both of them into objects. So, yeah, don't know. That's very interesting. And I know there's going to be a lot of coping and seething. But hey, as of now, Dracula Mihawk, best swordsman in the world, does not have Conqueror's Hockey. It is what it is. I do think, though, we're going to get another breakdown about Mihawk in the future as more is revealed about him. Same with Crocodile, because they're both fairly underdeveloped and we still don't know a lot about either of them. But moving on with our cross guild, guys, we have the chairman himself, Captain Bucky the Clown. He is 39. So much like Luffy, he's younger than his most viable members. That's very funny. He has a flower motif, and those are covered a lot in this breakdown. And I think we may do another video about that because I'm sure the flowers mean something. But moving on, the, his flower is Odamaki, which is an aqua gila. I'll put a picture of it on screen i don't know how to pronounce it if he wasn't a pirate his job would be a downtown factory manager so like a an amazon warehouse manager i guess you could say I, i'm not i'm not sure his favorite island type is summer islands winter season so he likes winter on summer islands that's very odd his origins are in the grand line his bounty which is lower than mihawks and i think mihawk is the 
only one in the series whose bounty is higher than that of the presumed captain of an organization. So that's funny. What's even funnier is that they're not even that far apart as Bucky's bounty is three billion one hundred eighty nine million. So they're only a few hundred million apart. That's odd. Of course, his ability, his Del Fruit, is the chop chop fruit, otherwise known as the Barra Barra no me. And yeah, there's no hockey listed for him so far. So he doesn't have hockey yet. And still, though, I can't believe that this will remain the case forever because he was around several Cockerous hockey users growing up in the form of Gold Roger himself. And of course, Silver's Rayleigh. We don't know how many others. So, yeah, I would put a pin on that just like I would put a pin in mihawk not having conquerors here's the weird part about mihawk though not having conquerors it makes a lot of sense when you consider how he's being presented as a character and how he sees titles in general because he doesn't care about being an emperor even though he could easily be one nor does he ever call himself the greatest swordsman in the world i would have to do more research on it but from what i've been looking into for a video that i'm going to make in the future, Zeph calls him the greatest swordsman in the world during his introduction, but he himself doesn't see himself as the greatest swordsman in the world. He's almost as if he's just keeping the title because other people see him as such, and no one has actually been able to beat him, so that's how things just are. But in the way that it's being presented now, he's not really ever seen himself worshipping the title, and he doesn't care about titles. However, Buggy does, which is why I could see him getting conquerors and how I could see him getting hockey in the future. Another interesting thing just to think about, do we know that Yoru is truly his sword? And what I mean by that is, with Yoru, it could be like a Zoro with a Susui situation in which the sword was blackened by somebody else and he is just using it as it is now. So we don't even know if Mihawk was the one to turn Yoru black, which is a very interesting thought. I don't think it's ever said. And Mihawk could have all the knowledge of how to turn a sword black, but he doesn't have the ambition to do it. Much like how Kaido knew about awakening, but he wasn't awakened himself. Characters could have knowledge about things without having the capacity to actually do that thing. That doesn't really invalidate Mihawk as a strong character. He just doesn't literally have the will to do the action which is perfectly fine but that's how things literally could stand based on what we know about mihawk we'll have to see in the future but yeah we also get a flower confirmation for red hair shanks as his flower is the toad lily which is kind of ominous but if he wasn't a pirate, his job would be a landscape photographer that is so odd why is that but that lets us know a little bit about him so his favorite type of island is Spring Island's fall season, which is kind of funny because Buggy likes a Summer Island's winter season. His origins are in the West Blue because we know he was found in a treasure chest during the God Valley incident. And he's from the same place as Guranika, that CP0 member. So that's that's interesting. I don't know. That That's something to think about. Uh, of course, his bounty is one of the highest in the series at... 4 billion, 48 million, 900,000. And he, of course, is a user of all three types of hockey, observation, armament, and conqueror. So that's all our big boys confirmed. Really cool. Really interesting. Now let's move on to some lesser boys, but boys who are just as important. Let's talk about all our Wano guys, shall we? So first of our Wano guys up is Kurozumi Tama, who may or may not be the cousin to Kurozumi Yamato if her mother is the Kurozumi hag, which, oh boy, Yamato keeps catching the bells because now she's a enemy of Odin twice over in being a Kurozumi. That's funny. But anyway, uh... Taba's favorite food is apples and Oshiruko. Her least favorite food is none because food is precious where she comes from and she knows how it feels to go hungry. 
Her favorite hobby now is trained to become an alluring Kanochi, most likely under Shinobu. And her favorite animal or her animal motif is the sparrow. Her origin, of course, is the Wano country, Kuri, and Amagashi village. Her fruit is the Kibi Kibi no Mi, otherwise known as the Millet Millet fruit. Then going up to her teacher, whom is Shinobu, the captivating Kanochi, the killer of men. She is 49 years old. And after Green Bull's little lipo, she looks fantastic for 49. Her favorite food is hapin. Her least favorite food is boiled food, probably a reference to Odin. Her hobby is getting beauty massages. Her animal motif is a flying squirrel. And of course, she is the user of the juku juku no mi, otherwise known as the ripe ripe fruit. Then, moving on with our one old boys, we have Odin's father, Kuozuki Tsukuyaki who is age 81. He's an old boy. His favorite food is sukuyaki, which, okay, he follows his son. And Mojimi Maju, his least favorite food is squid ink. His hobbies are collecting beautiful kokeshi dolls, which we knew about that because he keeps them in the basement. His animal motif is the Tengu monkey, which is the monkey with the big nose. And of course, his origin is the flower capital in Wano. Moving on, we have his grandson, Kurozuki Momonosuke, the Shogun of Wano. He is now age 28 physically, but mentally he's age eight. Like, like Yabato, I guess a little bit. <laughs> I kid, I kid, I kid. But his favorite food is Hakuto and Odin, reference to Papa. Least favorite food is peppers and unagi the animal that he is most identified with is the horse which kind of comes out of nowhere honestly didn't see that coming he is a um, resident of the wano country but of course he was born on the moby dick which is white beer ship and apparently he is an observation hockey user didn't even see that coming holy crap that's cool but uh yeah 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 moving on to the old man from zoro's village Shimonsuke Kozoboro. His birthday is November 14th. He is age 68 at the time of his death, which was 13 years ago in the current timeline. Of course, he is a resident of the Wano country, but he was now, I believe, living in the East Blue. His favorite food is refined sake and sea beast sashimi. So he likes sea beast meat. He died the same year that Zoro got his source from him and taught him the term snatchy. Now we move on to the guys who were with a young Yamato in a cave is those who stood up to oppose Kato but died in the process. So we have Fugetsu Umasubi, the former daimyo of Kibi. His birthday is June 30th. He is age 44. At the time of his death, which was 20 years ago, he, of course, is a member of the Wano country in Kibi. His favorite food is Omibusu, which is, is his namesake, and uh, Dongo. He is a observation armored hockey user, which that's to be expected. Moving on, we have Uzu, Uzuki Tempura, which another food pun. Excellent. Former daimyo of Udon which is another food pond. His birthday is July 23rd. He is age 45 at the time of his death. He is from Udon in the Wano country. His favorite food is tempura soba, which he, I'm sure it is. And of course, he is too an observation and arm and hockey user. And then we have Zoro's relative. I don't know what side of the family he's on, but yeah, he's a relative of Zoro and a descendant of Ryuma, much like Zoro. But yeah, he is Shimonsuke Ushimaru. His birthday is November 2nd. He is age 50 at the time of his death. He is a resident of the Wano country in Ringo. He's not described as a daimyo, which is interesting. His favorite food is white rice, same as Zoro, and he loves Kitsune Udon. He too is an observation hockey user and an armored hockey user. Coming out of Wano, talking about some pirates now, we have Beppo. Beppo is 22 years old. His favorite food is shaved ice. His least favorite food is bread, much like Law. His hobbies include sliding, napping with Law being his pillow. That's very cute. Of course, his animal motif is a polar bear. Since he's a mink, he's from Zoe. His bounty has increased from 500 to 1500 berries. So he's a tinge higher than Chopper because Chopper's last body was a thousand berries. We still have to see what his body is after the events of Egghead. 
But yeah, moving on to the Captain Law. He is 26. His flower motif is the Queen of Night, which I Again, we have to see what that means. If he wasn't a pirate, his job would be a doctor, of course. His favorite type of island is a winter island spring season. That's interesting. Of course, he's from Fleance, which is in the North Blue. His bounty is three billion. And he is an observation and arm and hockey user. Now, moving on to his rival, <laughs> useless Captain Mid. <laughs> but I kid, Eustace Captain Kid. He is 23 years old. I did not know he was younger than Law. That's wild. His flower is the tulip, which is interesting. If he wasn't a pirate, he'd be an arms dealer. Excuse me, what? Huh? He'd be an arms dealer. What? Is it because he has a metal arm? Is that a pun? Is that a joke? What? what? <laughs> That's stupid. Okay, but his favorite island type is a summer island's summer season. He's the first one who likes the style of island that matches with the season. That's good. Thank you, kid. Kid is very typical that way. Good. Uh, he's from Klutz Island. I don't think we ever get an island origin for him. So this is the first time. We just knew it was an island from the South Blue. And he, Killer, Wire, and he were all from that same island. So it's Klutz Island. K-U-T-Z-K. Ah, huh. that may have to be romanized in the future, but yeah, Klutz Island. And of course, he too has a bounty of three billion. And ironically, despite taking so many L's in the series so far, he is an observation hockey user, an armament hockey user, and a conqueror's hockey user. So other than Luffy, I think, because I think it's not confirmed if Zoro has conquerors yet. I keep hearing that float around. So, yeah, it's really him and Kid who are of the supernova who have conquerors. That's that's wild. Put a pin in Zoro because that may be revealed later. I would I wouldn't count him out just yet because it's confirmed during the king fight that he's using conquerors. But maybe he's not described as a conquerors user just yet because he hasn't controlled it fully. So it's like random bursts. Much like Luffy and Yamato were back in the day. So, hey, we'll put a pin in that. That will come to light in the future, I'm sure. But heading back to Wano for a quick second, we have Fuga. Fuga is the weird member of the numbers who befriended Yamato. And, of course, we knew this already. He is a smile horse user. That's why he has horse legs. His favorite food is Aumari alcohol. His origin is from punk hazard of course because that's where he was made at like the rest of the numbers and yeah his age is unclear but his birthday is february 5th so that's pretty cool that's pretty neat now we've got some straggler characters so let's talk about them first of them is saint don quixote Mjolsgaard. he's dead and he's the fourth don quixote member to be dead in the series we have homings his wife whom is Don Quixote, Don Flamigo's mother. We have Homing himself, and we have Rosiante. All of them are dead, and now Mjolsgaard is dead, killed by Figurlin Garling, or rather executed, as it says here in the Vivicard. But he was 35. His favorite food, formerly foie gras. Currently, it's marinated seaweed, which makes sense because his hair is seaweed colored. And his ship is called Sea Worshipping Guy Minka. And his origin, of course, was Mary Joas. So, yeah, dead and gone. He was of a very similar age to Don Flamingo, which is odd. We've seen his father before, too. So, yeah, he's one of the younger ones. Odd. Sad that he's gone, though, because he was one of the few good ones as well. Moving on, we have Big King Wapple, King of the Black Drum came to baby. Love Wapple. He's 29. That's a rough 29, buddy. Who oh, boy. His favorite food is a burned house or well done house. His least favorite food is gum because he hated eating Luffy, I guess. <laughs> his hobby is crafting toys, which, of course, his ammo motif is the woolly hippo. Makes a lot of sense because he rides walkies all the time. Walkies are the woolly hippos that he is known for. He wears a pelt of a woolly hippo all the time. It's white in the pre-time skip, and of course, it's black in the post-time skip when he becomes the king of the Black Drum Kingdom. And of course, uh, his former origin was the Drum Kingdom. And we have, too, seen his dad before. And his fruit is the Baku Baku no Mi, otherwise known as the Munch Munch fruit. And now we have our crowning jewel. 
Last but not least, Princess Vivi, Nefertiri Vivi, also who could be known as Nefertiri D. Vivi. She was formerly a straw hat. We don't know if that'll stick or not. She could be a straw hat in the future. She is currently 18 years old. Her color has changed again. Before it was white. Then when Brooke joined, it was changed to gold. Now it has changed to platinum. I think this is the first character that has ever had a color that's close to gray. Platinum. That's very interesting. Her number motif is 5.5. Again, like I mentioned in my second year anniversary video, uh, she's the only character with a 5.5 numbering. Uh, she gets a sleep time, which is 10 p.m., and a wake-up time, which is 10 a.m. 10 10. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Huh. And five plus five is 10. Huh. Interesting. Least favorite food is dried squid. And of course, she is from the Alabasta Kingdom. Very interesting for Vivi. Very, very interesting. I wonder, seeing as how she keeps being updated, maybe she'll be important in the future. I still think she's going to join, but we'll have to wait and see. But moving on to our last guys. There was some information about Napoleon and Hera, but it's just their birthdays, which... I, I mean, it is what it is, and their favorite foods are, well, Napoleon likes to eat Big Mom's soul, and Hera's favorite food is munching on Zeus. So, I mean, it is what it is there. Hera's birthday is March 17th, and Napoleon's birthday is December 2nd. Hera's birthplace is Onigashima, because that's where she was made, and Napoleon's birthplace is the Grand Line, which makes sense because of the original three, I believe Napoleon is the youngest because a child big mom had both Zeus and Prometheus kind of off the bat as soon as she ate the soul soul fruit. So, well, she ate Mother Caramel who had the soul soul fruit, I should say. So, yeah. And now, of course, the youngest homie of the special homies under Big Mom is Hera. So with all that being said, that's actually it. Give me your thoughts and tell your friends about Paula Pete Wixit.